all right hello guys good day and welcome to my youtube channel my name is fred so today we are going to be looking at a simple link mechanism all right now before i start i want you to understand that uh, a mechanism comprises mainly a crank and a shaft okay this shaft is also referred to as what a connecting rod now this is a, this is a case of a very simple arrangement of a link mechanism okay where you have the crank and the shaft all right now in this arrangement you're seeing or you're looking at all right we have a crank let's call it a b all right the crank here and a shaft now the rule is this crank rotates about this point here rotates about this point while the shaft at this other end slides in guard here okay so as this crank rotates the shaft slides in guard, all right? So there is a rotational motion at this point of the crank while there is a to and fro movement at the other end of the what? Of the shaft. Now the question is, if there is a point P, let's say there's a point here on the, on the shaft or the connecting rod, okay? If there is a point here and this crank rotates one revolution, all right? What will be the profile of this point here? Okay, so those are the questions that are usually associated with what link mechanism. So I'm going to show you how to draw the locus of a point uh, on the shaft of a link mechanism. Okay, take a look at this example. Now it says the locus of a point P, all right, the locus of a point P on a simple link mechanism which consists of a rotating crank AB. So this is the rotating crank AB, pin jointed to a connecting rod. So it is pin jointed to a connecting rod at this point B, all right, to a co connecting rod BC. So this is the connecting rod BC, which freely slides in guard at the other end C. So at this other end C here, okay, it slides along this guard here, all right. Can be determined by using construction method or paper trammel method. All right, but we are going to focus on construction method. Okay, all right. So now, if this crank AB rotates one revolution, what would be the profile of this point B, of the point P? Sorry. Okay, let me quickly explain that. Now, let us assume. Okay, that this is the what the initial position of the what of the link mechanism. All right. Now, as it rotates, this point changes position on the crank. All right. So, what profile are you seeing? All right. So, using construction method, I'm just quickly going to show you how to go about it. Okay. So, the question is, what would be the profile of the point P? If AB moves one word, revolution, all right? So let us uh, illustrate using the arrangement here, all right? So let us assume that, or we are not even assuming, all right? The crank moves through a circular path, okay? And it has been divided into 12 equal parts. So let us assume this is the initial position of what the, of the, of the link mechanism, all right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So when the link, link mechanism was at this point, 1, all right? What was the position of the point P? So this is our point P, okay? So we have it somewhere there, right? When it now moves to 2, we have our P somewhere here, right? 3. We have our P somewhere here, right? Four. This is four. That has a point P. This is five. P. This is six. P. All right? This is seven. Point P. Eight. The point P is here. And nine. The point P is there. 10, 11, 
and 12. So you can see the profile that we have here. Okay, so when you connect this point together, what you have is elliptical. Now, this is a very simple case of uh, a link mechanism. There are other complex link mechanisms. All right, but we're going to treat that much more later. Okay, so now let's move straight to the construction. Okay, so do not forget all the parameters have been given. So AB has been given to be what, 40 millimeters. BC, 150 mm. BP, which is half of BC. So half of BC would be 75 if it is, if it is 150 mm. So we have 75 mm. So what you do is you reproduce this exact same arrangement. All right? But take note of something. Now, every construction lines are going to be thin lines. The only thick lines uh, that we will see at the end of the drawing is the crank, the shaft, and the profile. That is uh, the, the locus of the points, okay, uh, will be thick lines, all right? So you start by what? Uh, describing a circle using the length AB, which is what, 40 mm, and you divide into 12 equal parts. Then you show AB, which is a crank, and BC, which, which is the what? The shaft. All right, so here we go. Now, with the AB given as 40, I stretched 40 on my ruler. And I describe the circle here, all right? After which I divided it into 12 equal parts, okay? Now I extended the diameter, okay? Because we were told that this point C slide on what? On guard here, along this line here, all right? So now with the crank as what? 150 mm, I stretched 150 mm on my what? Pair of compass. I placed here, I needled on B, all right? And I made an arc here, all right? So BC is what? 150 mm. Then I measured one, sorry, 75 mm here to give me the point P. So you can see this is what? 75 mm. So how do we locate other points of P? Okay, so here you are going to need two pair of compasses or if you have a pair of divider, that's fine. Now, uh, stretch bp okay and keep it fixed okay bp 75 so i have bp here so here i already have what uh bc all right so at point one all right when it rotates one revolution at one we have p at this point all right now remember these are the only thick lines every other line is what thin lines okay now with 150 mm as my bp at this point, we have C. So call this C1. All right? So at 2, you needle on 2, still on 150 mm. Then you cut along that line because it slides along uh, this guard here. Okay? So you cut. Call it C2. You are going to have up to C12. All right? So at C2 now, where is the point P? Now, you connect to this point to 2, just like you did for 1. This is a crank for 1, all right? At the point 1, we had a crank here at C1. Now, at the point 2, where is the crank? So, we have the crank here. You connect to here with this point C2, with a thin line, not a thick line now, a thin line, all right? So that's it. All right. So where is P? Let's say this is P1. So where is P2? So with our BP, all right? So we come to, you move over to 2, all right? And locate the point P. So there we have it. Here. So this is P2. All right? So you continue in that manner. Three. Three is along the guard. All right. Cut. And this gives you what? C3. Okay. So there is no point drawing another line because the line is already there. So you locate P3. Remember your P3 is what? 75. Fixed. All right. So there we have it. And I said you can also use a pair of compass or 
a pair of divider so here we have it p3 okay so you continue like that now as you mark c4 you c2 and c4 will be on the same point all right so this is c4 so we call it c4 right connect the shaft of c4 with a thin line this is c4 with a thin line you connect all right then you locate the point p4 with same 75 so there we have, there we have it p4 so you continue in that manner okay so if you continue in that manner this is what you will have at the end of the day okay so remember p5 this was what five all right six this is six so while you are locating the crank for five you locate the point p5 all right for six you cut remember you are cutting along the guard all right so for six you have the c6 then you locate six and for seven and eight and nine and ten to twelve so what do you do next you connect the points with a flexible curve or a french curve all right so there you have the ellipse the curve okay all right now if you know you like this video you found it helpful do not forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button if you have any question feel free to drop your comment all right thanks